What's going on guys? Shy Official here, back with another E video. Today we're looking at the Blood Raider 4 out of 10, the Mozata Monastery. I just got this from an escalation running uh, some Blood Raider hideaways. So we're going to go ahead and run this site. Um, this is probably the hardest 4 out of 10 in high sec. Um, this site, it's just really hard. There's a lot of uh, cruisers, there's a ton of sentry batteries which normally I don't really worry about but some of these are actually quite difficult to deal with um, especially in the last room it's only a two site room um, it's got let's see yeah it's got two rooms but the last room which is where the loot drops um, it's gonna be quite difficult it's, there's like one two six stasis towers so that's gonna slow me down quite considerably and that's just gonna make me an easy target to hit so I'm gonna be taking quite a bit of damage from this so we're gonna see how this goes I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the footage here I'll catch you guys once I'm done Alright guys, so we finished the first room. Um, I'm not going to speed up the second room because I want to make sure that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Because you have to be very careful in the second pocket. It's a very difficult site to run. So what I'm going to do, I can see... Let's see, how far is this? This inner sanctum is the only thing we really need to kill. And then I'm going to align out once I'm in range. What this is going to do for me... Um, as soon as I finish killing it, I'm going to bookmark the wreck and I'll be able to warp straight out. I'm going to go ahead and lock this. There's the webs. I'm going to go ahead and turn my micro warp drive on. Again, I'm going to need to get within range to shoot this thing. I just need to get within 40 kilometers and then my drones will be able to hit. There we go. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to line out. That way, as soon as this thing's done being uh, killed, I can go ahead and uh, warp straight out. Go to the loot tab. So this is the way I recommend you run this site. There's really no reason to kill everything that's in this site. Um, the bounties aren't really worth it and the loot's not worth it. So we're just going to go ahead and focus down this inner sanctum. And this is going to drop all the loot in this site. So as you can see, these stasis web towers, they're making me do 54 meters a second and I'm getting neutered right now. So this is where the uh, site can get dangerous is you're going really slow. Missiles are going to hit you a lot harder. Uh, these cruisers will newt you and suck your capacitor down, um, which can, if unless you have a really good tank, um, the site could be quite difficult. So we're just going to focus this down. And then as soon as we see that we are ready to warp out, we're going to warp out, bookmark the wreck, and then get out of the site quickly as possible. I'm going to overheat some of my modules so that we can stay in the site a little bit longer. I'm going to just let my drones die. I'm not too worried about them dying. I'd rather get the loot from the site first. I'm going to overheat my guns just to see if we can get just barely knock this out. Okay, there it is. Pull the drones in. Save the location. 
Wait for my drones to come back. And we're off. So as you can see, I just barely made it out of that site. This site is extremely hard. However, um, we did get the drop. And I'm going to wait. I'm going to use my, uh, my little trick. I'm going to wait about five minutes. Come back to the site after everything's despawned. And we'll see what we got. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, let's see what we got. The site is despawned. Go ahead and crack open this container and see what we got. Okay, so didn't make a whole lot off this one. That's just the nature of DD sites. It's all the loot's all random, but we did get some looks like EM uh, energized uh, membranes, the eighth tier personal over or the uh, overseer's personal effects, a corpum C type kinetic energized membrane. So it's not bad. Um, you can definitely chuck these on a ship that you're using. If you're trying to run these sites, it's going to be an upgrade from Tech 1 or Tech 2. Uh, the nice thing about Dead Space modules is that they don't require Tech 2 skills. So as you can see, all you need is whole upgrades level 3 to be able to use these. Um, so far, I've ran a Blood Raider. I think it was the Blood Raider 4 out of 10 and the Sancha 3 out of 10. And out of all of that, I've come out with about 172 million. Um, these sites are pretty there's not a whole lot of competition out here in blood raider and sancha space compared to garista space uh, i got a comment on one of my videos saying uh you know hey i have been trying to farm for these escalations but it just seems like there's a ton of people trying to run them and that's just going to be garista space i mean you'll find it everywhere but mostly in garista space you're going to find that there's tons of people trying to run the sites because the items that the garista drops um, they're very sought after, so everybody, so they're worth a lot more and everybody's trying to grab them. Uh, there's still money to be made in these, uh, armor modules. Um, I mean, obviously I'm sitting at almost 170 million. So if you're finding that there's a lot of, too much competition, there's people who are stealing your sites, just move somewhere that's less densely populated. There's not a whole lot of competition and, uh, good luck. I wish you well in your exploration. My name is Ashai Fischel, and I'll catch you in the next video.